lobby groups are clamoring for a review of the Companies Act of 2015 to allow the public access to beneficial ownership information that identifies true owners of companies. Currently, the information is only accessible to bodies involved in the investigation and tracking of illicit funds, a loophole that corrupt individuals use to divert public funds through proxies. The Institute of Economic Affairs says the move will enhance transparency and help curb corruption. The Companies Act of 2015 limits access of beneficial ownership information to five authorities, including the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, Kenya Revenue Authority, Public Procurement Regulatory Authority, and the Asset Recovery Authority. The Institute of Economic Affairs says the secrecy makes it difficult for authorities and law enforcers to track wire fraud and investigate corrupt practices. The Institute says there is a need to enhance transparency and openness in business ownership to combat corruption. This is something that we're pushing through. We'll be looking forward to push through amendments in the law to ensure that transparency is enhanced and that the law allows for that to be entrenched and that access is guaranteed for anyone and everyone in Kenya and of course across the board. Now that we're looking to move towards the uh, AFCFTA, Perhaps that's something else that we'll also be looking at going forward. The economic lobby groups are calling for the harmonization of the provisions in the Data Protection Act of 2019 and the Companies Act of 2015, which advocate for the protection of personal data and enhancing transparency, respectively. This, they say, will make it easy to identify true owners of companies, thus easing the process of tracking illicit funds and undertaking open investigations of corruption cases. Enforcement needs to be upped, and this is something also trying to push for. Uh, it's not, you need to have a dog that has tooth. So we have the dog, yes, but does it have tooth? So we're trying to entrain the pers aspect, perspective of ha the dog having the tooth, so that in as much as we have the law and the penalties, they can be imposed up upon those entities that don't comply with the law. So yes. EACC estimates that Kenya loses over 600 billion shillings annually to corruption. Betty Kiptum, Lunchtime News.